Well, happy 2023. 2023 is now here by the time you are seeing this video, but right now it is New Year's Rockin' Eve and I am at Walt Disney World. There's no other place that I would come to celebrate New Year's Eve. I am currently over here at the Wilderness Lodge. I just had dinner at Geyser Point. Tonight is gonna be all about hanging out, resort hopping, and ringing in 2023. 2022 has been an amazing year. I'm planning to do a full recap video. This last week has just been absolute craziness. <laughs> with the holidays but I am wanting to like actually sit down and talk about what an amazing 2022 it has been it's been amazing it's been challenging an array of emotions a true roller coaster as is life I'm just very grateful though and I'm looking forward to 2023 and that's what tonight's gonna be about we're gonna ring in 2023 I got a good friend with me Kyle's here Hi. so where'd we just eat Kyle we ate at Geyser Point, I believe. It was believe. really good, and we had some drinks. What did you have? Well, this right here is Coke. This um, is Coke. <laughs> what did I have? I had a beer that I've never had before. Well, because I wanted a Yingling, but they didn't have it on draft. So then I was like, what do you have on draft? And they said, like, blah, 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 blah. blah. And I'll so pop I was like, I'll have on one screen. of those. Yeah. I don't know what it was called, though. But I do have a question. Yes. I'm going to save it for later, though. Okay. Keep the people guessing. Yeah. Stay tuned. But I had, for my food, I had, it was on the small bites menu. It was like the brisket, it was cheesy brisket. They came with the house made chips. It was really, really good. And then you had the iconic bison burger. Bison burger. How yeah. was it? It was very good. I remember having it once before. It was about maybe like four years ago. And I think it was like 11 or 12 bucks. Yeah. Now, it's like 22 bucks. Yeah, it was crazy. expensive. So if you want a good burger, I definitely recommend the bison burger from Geyser Point mm -hmm. here at um, Wilderness Lodge. Wilderness Lodge. However, be prepared to pay like 22 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> My thing, because it was on the small bites menu, it was definitely more so a snack mm -hmm. portion. It was perfect for me, I would say. But yeah, I think it was like $11 mine was, yeah. Mm -hmm. So now we're gonna go resort hopping. Resort hopping. Polynesian? Polynesian, you wanna okay. go there first? Yes. Okay, cool. Also the goal tonight, we are gonna watch the fireworks from Magic Kingdom. We haven't determined yet where we're gonna watch from, but Magic Kingdom does like the epic New Year's fireworks where at the end they have in the sky fireworks shaped like 10, nine, eight, and they count it down. I have seen it one other year. I've done New Year's one other time at Walt Disney World. So I have seen it before and it's definitely like the whole crowd just like gets that energy, like amps up. I feel like it happens, I'll have to look at this on the app, but I think they do, a few showings of the fireworks. There might be like an eight o'clock one that is like the practice run that they literally count down and it's just literally still 2022. It's not actually flipped over to New Year's yet. So if you're rough on your counting skills, I'd recommend watching this fireworks show. It'll like catch you up it at least, at up least to like what, 10? Yeah. So if you're struggling with counting from one to 10, then watch the show. It helps you out, definitely. Out skills. But then they do have the one that actually like it goes off at like 11.45 to then and right with the countdown of bring, bringing you into midnight into the new year but also when we were coming in and we were driving it was around like 6 30 ish i want to say right yeah yeah i think so yeah it was like yeah, 6 yeah. 6 30. we actually saw magic kingdom fireworks going off because magic kingdom did do enchantment tonight as well and epcot i know it like really early around like 6 30 was doing harmonious so they had those going off, and then additionally, all the parks are gonna be doing their special New Year's Eve, Rockin' Eve celebration. Also, I just realized we talked about Kyle's beer, but I didn't give a review of what I had to drink. So I had, I wanted something that was kind of like exclusive to Geyser Point Wilderness Lodge. So I had, it was the Huckleberry Punch, and it was basically like a vodka cranberry. It was very, very good. 10 out of 10 would recommend. In order to get to Polynesian, really to get to any of the Magic Kingdom resorts from where we're at at Wilderness Lodge, we have to get on the Magic Kingdom boat. And then from there, we either have the options to do in the monorails to do the monorail loop resorts, or they have the boats that run from there at Magic. We just got to Magic Kingdom. This is such a sight to behold. They are like playing like club music basically right now. Like music you would never think of at Magic Kingdom. 2023 is here and when you were looking to plan those Disney vacations, contact 407 and Beyond Vacation Company. They can help you with all the planning. You get to relax and enjoy 
get your 2023 started right. When we look back at our years, we always remember the trips that we took in that year. So get that banner moment of 2023 and book your Disney vacation. Just kind of look at the vibe right now. This is crazy. Okay, we left Magic Kingdom. Magic Kingdom's still just right there. We're getting on the boat. We were gonna go to Polly, but we're actually thinking, because this boat stops first at Grand Floridian, then goes to Polly. We might actually go stop at the Grand. It's like, why not? We still got, what time is it, Kyle? It's like 8.30? Yeah, we got yeah. three and a half hours. We got three and a half hours still till midnight. So we're like, we got time. I think we want to end the night being at Polly so that we can be on the beach, hopefully like near the beach as close as we can get because I have a feeling it's gonna get packed and like be able to see the fireworks. But yeah, I think we might stop at the Grand first. Good plan. Also, look at this. I don't even think I've ever sat. We're on this boat. We're on this boat. <laughs> There's Kyle over there. Hi. <laughs> I've said I've never sat on like, look at this. Wait, let me put the exposure actually up. Look at this. It's like literally the front part of this little boat. This is so cool. I don't think I have ever sat here. This is a Disney first. What I just found. They have some 2023 decorations in the ground. 2023. I, first I thought it said 2022. I was like, wait, no, no, there is a three. 2023. Gotta get used to saying that. Three. 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 This many. Three. <laughs> we came into the lobby to see the gingerbread house. You've seen it. Yeah, because you were here. You walked there and saw. And look at that. Wonder how long they're gonna keep this up. Until they take it down, like, this is once the new year hits here. I keep seeing people with, like, these 2023 hats. wonder if we can, like, get some hats. Can you go play something right now? I don't think I'm allowed to. <laughs> That'd be cool. I'd play some, like, Beauty and the Beast or Tangled or something. Usually when the pianist is there, they do take requests. We could, like, ask him to do something. I'll play, like, <laughs> Right now, Kyle's playing a song for us, but we just... Oh, someone put it in the comments if they know. I'm so, I wish I was musical. I'm not musical. I'm gonna just guess Beauty and the Beast because you just said that. Oh, cool, okay, yay. <laughs> I would not have got that right though if you hadn't just said that. <laughs> it was on my mind. Yeah, if they didn't have a, please do not touch the piano. You could, you could play, I know. <laughs> How can they tempt us so badly? Just put a piano right there. I have seen that though. I've seen a magical moment where a guest like, it was a young kid, like, asked if he could play, and then the pianist did let him. I play, so I feel like if someone was here, we could maybe have a magical moment right now. You could play. play. At least 10 Disney songs. Really? We could do, like, a little Disney melody for everybody in the lobby here. I mean, that, look at everybody in here. And, like, right now, there's no other music, can, so people would appreciate that. Can they totally them, would. You can grace them with some soft Disney instrumental piano music. That's perfect for New Year's it's Eve. Apparently, against the rules. So. I'm upset right now. I wish we had that. bar here in the lobby of the Grand Floridian. They're like all ready for New Year's over here. Kyle and I acquired hats 2023. Nice. <laughs> right. Boom. Okay, it's official. 2023 is happening. It's gonna be a good year. Oh, I love it. Double hats. This is the way to wear a double hat. That's the, that's the look. We're ready. Ready to go. That was a cool shot. So yeah, it's definitely, I'm trying to get like the vibe of the night. It's definitely like, you know, busier than a standard night, but it's not crazy crowded. It's not too insane, you know what I mean? I bet, but the parks are pretty crazy right now. That's why I'm happy we decided to do this. A little resort hopping, relaxed evening to ring in 2023. And now we have swag. <laughs> okay, so I have to correct myself. I just pulled up my Disney experience and 
actually the thing that we saw at 6 30 was not enchantment i should have known because it seemed like there was more fireworks than usual it was actually the fantasy in the sky which is their new year's eve firework show at 11.50. That's the one that we're gonna catch to ring in 2023. I almost said 2022, gotta get it right. So this is now 2023 we're going into. Right now we're just sitting at this little spot on the Grand Floridian and it's so nice and quiet over here. Look at this, New Year's Eve at Disney. This is so cool. So as we were inside, we were trying to find out where we could get these things, Kyle um, was talking to a cast member who said like, oh, you can go outside, there's a party. And like, I kind of thought that it was like something you had to pay extra for or something, but no, apparently like guests can just come to, there's like this glow party happening. It's right here, just by the pool. They got this party set up. Oh my gosh, there's like light up cornhole. That's pretty epic. Can I buy this? I like want this. I want light up cornhole. Okay, you wanna play? I think I can make it on the first try. I think you can make it on the first try. Okay, watch it, right? there, there's obstacles in the way. <laughs> Let's see it. Oh, nice. That was good. That was good. Yeah, pretty good. Should I try a legit one? Yeah, you should. Okay. See, you kind of have. Having a, to aim that way? You have some like obstacles in your way. <laughs> Like, um, you should just, on the course. You should just like throw it right at him. <laughs> yeah, you were so close to hitting her. Did she not know that? Oh, that was close. I saw it go in, so. I believe in you. Here, I'll go fetch them for you. Okay, you're gonna, well here, throw one back. You gotta throw one. Okay, here goes Kyle. Oh, you at least made it on the board. I think in official cornhole rules, that's one point. Wait, did that go in? But the camera was like in the way. I think it caught it though, probably. That's, Kyle got one. Another one, oh, he's like destroying me right now. Nice! How cool are these boards too? I want these. Oh, so close. Okay, now I need to redeem myself. This feels bad. I was getting them here for you. I think it's like two if you get it in, yeah. Something like that. Way too far. I panicked, I don't know what that was. I blame the backpack. How cool would that been if it went in? Let's just pretend it went in. What are you doing? <laughs> okay. Almost. Okay, first try? This is his first try. Oh, so good. <laughs> so shout out to my family back home. My family has this cornhole board that my uncle's family actually invented that it's a special cornhole board that has three holes and it's like, we do it that it's like one point, two point, three point. But I feel like traditional cornhole like this, yeah, it's like when it's just on the board, it's one point and then in the hole is like two or three. You can correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. But yeah, cornhole's fun. I need to play clearly more often because I'm like really bad. I don't even know if I got one in tonight. Too bad. Good so shoot. I can't, I can't hula hoop normally, but I can, I can do it with my heart. I'm terrible at hula hooping. It's been years since I tried though. 
This is actually really impressive. I didn't think it was gonna go that long. I can do that. I can do the thing where you like make it come back to you. Okay. Can you do that? Actual... Yeah, yeah. Here, do you want me to hold the beverage and the hat? Okay. I haven't tried try this. Maybe I spontaneously got the talent. Oh. <laughs> How many years has it been since I hula hooped? Three. I don't know. I have no idea about your hula hooping history. Okay. Set all our stuff down. Okay. Whoa. That was better than me, though. That was that was better than me, though. I just can't. I, I, I can't. I can't with like. There's so much room for people to walk, and for some reason, people just keep walking straight up next to you. It's like you could have walked around the other way. Hey guys, and officially I can say happy 2023. I wanted to give a proper wrap up to this video because the rest of the evening I just put the camera down and just enjoyed ringing in 2023. I am so looking forward to this year. This is my first official full year in Florida. Can you believe that actually on January 10th, I will have my one year anniversary of moving here to Walt Disney World and it's just so crazy. I feel so grateful. I still want to film like I was talking about in this video, like a proper sit down video kind of just reflecting on all of 2022 and the amazing parts, the challenging parts, and also looking forward to 2023 and what I want to accomplish in this year ahead. But thank you all for just being a part of this amazing journey with me. It's definitely been a year for the record books and I hope that everyone has a very happy, healthy, blessed 2023 ahead. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here, but thank you guys for watching and for all the support. And with that, make today magical and I will see you soon in the next video. Bye guys.